Okay, so what I want to show here is a way to palpate and isolate the kidneys, the ureters, and then, and then into the bladder. And one of the reasons we'll want to do this is for uh, any time with low back pain, uh, psoas issues, that, that can all be affected by, by kidney issues. Uh, treating the bladder may be necessary to resolve any tension in the, uh, in the pubic bone when, whenever there is a uh, intraosseous strain palpated or just a pubic bone issue with the pubic symphysis. So the kidneys lie directly under the rib cage and the one on the right hand side is going to be more inferior to the one on the left. The ureters come out on the medial aspect of the kidneys and come down to the bladder. So what we're going to do is we're going to palpate uh, over the region and you're going to have one hand over the over the bladder and then the other hand over the kidney that you're trying to isolate and in this case I'm going to show it for her left kidney so I, I place my flat hand over the over the region and then one thing what we what we can do then after that is to uh, in this wiggle we're going to move our hands back and forth over the kidney and as you do that if you're over the kidney you'll feel the ureter uh, move uh, all the way down to the bladder to where it goes into the bladder so there you can feel you'll feel a wiggle there uh, as you're moving your hand back and forth now if you're not sure that that is the kidney then um, you can move your hand lower and you can try you can try moving your hand back and forth and you'll notice there isn't the direct motion that you can palpate when you're on the when you're on the kidney and over the ureter. Another thing you can do is when once you feel like you're on the kidney, you can actually ask the patient to imagine that they're urinating and just the act of doing that will reflexively cause the kidney to contract and that uh, can give you an, another way of isolating it. So from there then you can f you can feel for any tensions within the ureters that where where there may be extra tension uh, in the ureters where they go into the bladder and uh, then from there you can once you've done that you can isolate the bladder and feel for any release or any tension uh, dysfunction uh, either rotational tissue texture changes that you may need to to release in order to get the pubic bones to uh, to release uh, and then from there, uh, you can go back and recheck all these areas after you treat them. Uh, in, in, in another segment of videos, I'll show ways to release this in the future.